Alright, so Hoyo Lab has released a very sweet and concise article on version 5.8's upcoming banners, and especially now because there's a huge influx of new players, I would love to go through the banners with you guys to give my own thoughts and opinions on what to pull and focus on. The feature Valkyrie for this patch is Grisio, who is a physical SP support Valkyrie, and with Honkai's current direction, SP support Valkyries are the new meta. So if you are a meta chaser, then highly recommend pulling for Grisio. For her gear, Suzanne TNB is the most important and her weapon as well, so you can prioritize these three gears first. In the 5th and 6th week, Carol will be back along with the Paganini set. Honestly, Paganini has been quite important for both physical and elemental teams, especially Paganini M, due to the shield break bonus. Maybe not as important as Grisio, but the good thing is that for Carol's gear, getting Paganini M is ample good. For the SP supply line, if you are building a physical team, I recommend to go with Grisio as she is the newest and her kit may be more useful in the future. Next for the expansion supply, each patch is split into 6 weeks and around each week we get a banner rotation. The first week which features Hershel of Sentience has just ended and she is of super high priority. If you have pulled for her, then congrats on your pulls. If you haven't, then no worries because starter supply for new captains is also an outlet to pull, although it may come at a 50-50 with her shot of flame scion. Second week features Mobius, a lightning DPS Valkyrie, and right now there's a lot of lightning DPS Valkyries on the line, so it really depends on who you want to get. If you have just started, then getting one of either Mobius, Hersh of Thunder, or Eponia is more than good enough. The third week features the Hersh of Thunder and the 7 Thunders of Retribution. Hersh of Thunder is the oldest landing DPS Valk among her counterparts, but the introduction of 7T once again boosts her back into the meta. 7 Thunders provides lots of updated gameplay mechanics which allow for smooth rotation with the current SP support Valkyries such as Fischl and Eden. In addition, 7 Thunders has Journey as its Stigmata counterpart, which is super important for lightning teams so pulling for 7 thunders is actually quite worth it. On the 5th week, we will have Silverwing, the newest Ice DPS Valkyrie, and so far she has been at the top of the Ice teams and her replacement has yet to be seen anytime soon. So honestly, she's a good pick if you do not have any Ice teams. The final week will feature Spina, a Fire DPS Valkyrie. So for Spina, when she was released, pulling for her comes with her Stigmata and Weapon Box every 30 pulls, which made her super worth. However, now without it, Hedra of Flame Scion has almost the same coverage as Spina, so her priority does drop a bit. Additionally, version 5.8 BP is on Deankora, which has similar coverage due to both being Ignite Heavy Valkyries. What's more, version 5.9 will introduce Vil V, another Fire DPS Valkyrie. So in this case, if you wish to build your Fire Team, I'll prioritize either getting her short Flame Scion or saving up for the upcoming Vil V. Moving on, we have Elves, and Elves are pretty much endgame content for endgame players as it has little impact on low to mid tier players. Unless you are a collector, then pulling for Elves is on the lower priority for sure as you'd rather be saving up for a new Valkyrie instead. For those who plan to pull Elves, Tesla Zero will boost your physical teams while Bella will help out with your lightning teams. For Bella, there is a newer lightning elf, Client, which I believe outperforms Bella quite straightforwardly. So pulling for Bella is really for collection purposes, which I do quite like her design a lot. Lastly, we have the outfit supply for Stygia Nymphs, which is completely for aesthetics purposes. If you have spare crystals, then yes, you can pull for outfit too. So overall for this patch, I would prioritize getting Hersh of Sentience and Grisio first, followed by any DPS of any elemental teams, then Carol Stigmata, and finally the Elves. If you plan to pass on this version's banner, then yeah, saving for the future banner is also a viable option as well. That's it for this video, I hope you find it helpful, do hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't, and honestly huge appreciation to everyone who has. Click here to check out my crystal spending guide if you wish to know more in depth on crystal saving and spending strategies. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Woo.